more gridlock in Syria. The latest convoy bringing food and supplies to the civil war ravaged city of Aleppo is being held at the Syria-Turkey border. The convoy had been given clearance to leave Turkey, but did not have the go-ahead to make deliveries. Secretary of State John Kerry is asking his Russian counterpart to pressure the Syrian government to end the delay. Meanwhile, in Aleppo, Syria's besieged largest city, people are simply trying to get on with their lives. Elizabeth Palmer is there with the latest. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning. You know, for people trapped in a war zone, the ordinary, simple pleasures of normal life are especially sweet. And nothing says normal on a hot day like a swimming pool. Believe it or not, right now, on the government-controlled side of the city, several of Aleppo's swimming pools are open for business. In the streets, people socialize. They do odd jobs, even sass the camera. And it all helps to blot out the violence and the fear. But nothing can disguise the ugly scar that divides this city between the government and its armed opposition. 13-year-old Aya Al-Hassan is giving us a tour of her neighborhood of Al-Maidan, right on the front line. This curtain here, what, what's that for? Uh, they are here, uh, snipers. The snipers, just a few hundred yards away, are opposition fighters who have aimed their weapons at Syrian army positions deep in this neighborhood. Did you lose some friends in this war? Oh, yes, I've lost many, she says. Some were killed by mortars or snipers. Some just left the country. Aya, like everyone who lives here, can remember when fellow citizens of Aleppo lived down that road beyond the barriers, not men with guns. What was the worst time you can remember? One night, she says, a mortar actually landed in our house. It was a concrete apartment like these, so a miracle no one was killed. With courage beyond her years, Aya's got her eye on the future. I want my city whole again, she says, and at peace. And as for the people on the other side, the opposition side of that sniper shield, we weren't able to meet them because we're not allowed to cross the line. But they are besieged at the moment by the Syrian army and are in really desperate straits. They're the ones who are waiting for the aid that is stuck at the Turkish border. Anthony and Venita. Elizabeth Palmer in Aleppo, Syria this morning. Thank you.